Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm going to be doing a video of the inside of my custom-built computer. This is the custom-built computer from 2002, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. So as you see, this little door right here is for the two front USB ports, and this right here is the reboot button, also the reset button. So let's go ahead, without further ado, go show you the inside of this computer. And this shows you the um, demonstration of the board, and this is the board number right here. Let me turn the camera upside down if y'all could see it. And the uh, board number is D845GEBV2. So, um... You have to turn the camera upside down a little bit just so y'all can see the board number. And it shows you the ex exact drawings of the board where everything goes. Like, much I can show you right the actual board. This is the actual board in here. Right here, you got the six PCI slots and one AGP slot right there for like an AGP video card. You got the two RAM DIMMs. They are they are both DDR1 RAM. This computer is ex can only handle up to two gigabytes of RAM, so that's the maximum limit this computer can you take is two gigabytes of DDR1 RAM. Right here is the CMOS battery. You got right here the little jumper for the BIOS chip. Um. Right here, this is the computer's cooling fan. And this is the heat sink for the Intel Pentium 4 that's in this computer. That is clocked at 2 gigahertz. And it's an Intel Pentium 4 Northwood. And one stick of RAM, one that is a um, 512 megabyte stick. And one of them is a 1 gigabyte stick. I think the one gigabyte stick is the Kingston RAM. I'm not really sure, but um, but what if I power this thing on and pull up Specy? Then I could show you the memory, all the other information that this computer can't, that I can't be able to find out, be able to see, figure out on my own. Um, this is the Intel chipset. Um. This is my uh, 80 gigabyte Western Digital IDE hard drive, and it's um, this hard drive was from 2009. That's kind of new for the computer. Um, right here is the floppy drive. This is the uh, CD and DVD rewritable combo drive, the DVD drive. These are all the capacitors on the board. See, this, there's one right here that's pretty bad because you can tell it's starting to bulge. So far, none of the capacitors are blown. They got one under between the PCI car slot. Oh no! And this right here is for the power supply. There's two things that are plugged in for the power supply. Yeah, this computer works all right. Yeah, you know, I even had a um, try connecting a 7200 RPM hard drive in at one time, it's, and it, somehow for no reason it reboots for no reason. I had to put it in an 80 gigabyte Hitachi Death Star, and the computer doesn't like it. And I'm gonna show you the back of this computer. Show you what it. Cause that's part, so y'all know which is which. And this is pretty much a pain to put back on, sometimes. especially if I'm doing it with one hand, I'm holding this camera. Hold on, man. Let me go ahead and put this camera down so I can close this case. You gotta line it up and push real hard. So it'll snap into place. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back. This is the company who built the computer. That's the um, P 
PCI Ethernet card that when whoever may had this computer put that in there. I think probably, I assume that the P integrated Ethernet port didn't work. These are all the audio jacks, microphone, headphone. I don't know what device uses this one. I don't know what type of speakers or so. You got the two USB ports right here. I think these are USB 2.0 ports. And that's the integrated Ethernet port. Right here is the VGA. I think this is the parallel port. And here's some more two USB ports and the PS2 ports, which is pretty nice to have because I got a PS2 mouse and keyboard. And this is the power supply, which has a switch you can turn on or off, which is pretty neat to have. So. I'm gonna go ahead and power this thing on. Let me show you what it's like, on, what, how it runs. Okay, now I got the computer up and running. Just showing my um, 80 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive. As you hear the, you can hear the hard drive in it. Um, tells you what type of board it has. It's showing the actual board. If I can, let me highlight that. I don't know if the camera could pick it up or not. You can even read it on CPU Z. Showing the exact accurate model number of the board D eighty four eight eight four five G E B V two. I could probably add it into the video description if y'all don't can't see it on camera. And showing what type of memory it has. Has about a half a gig of RAM. I and mean, not a half a gig a gig and a half which is like 1.5 gigabytes of DDR1 and, and the, the the one gigabyte stick that's in this computer is actually a Kingston RAM stick and has the integrated Intel video controller and it has DirectX 9 and as you see it's running Windows XP with Service Pack 3 and there's another mo number of the model for the board J23E1 it somehow says one, uh, 2 gigabytes but it's not 2 gigabytes because it has 1.5 and this is the, bo the CPU it has an Intel Pentium 4 Northwood and it has the integrated Sound Max audio and the optical drive, the, the the black one is a light on, and the second one is a Sony. So this is the op, and it does have a COA label, which I'm gonna cover it up. Yep, and it's running a genuine copy of Windows XP. So let me go ahead and cover up the license key because it's a real license key that it's using I'm trying to do the best I can so I can show you so I want to show off my license key and here's all the other information it's using AC power and it and it thinks it's using some type of battery on here showing all the power profiles and has a little scheduler and all that good stuff with Specky. It's pretty good software to use to know information about your computer. So, well, that's all for now. And this is all the programs that I have in my quick launch. If you guys could see that, I'm going, I'm going to do a screen capture test with this computer, see how it can handle it. So, um, that's all for now. See you guys on to the next video. I'll probably do more with this computer and some with a Dell in the kitchen. So, thanks for watching. See ya.